Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you my walking horses, my current skates. Here they are in my hands and on my hands the Fila and RKBX. Fila and RKBX actually is not a very modern model. It is the model of the year 2013, but I bought them about five months ago and since that time skate only in them. This is a full skate model. That means that they are made for urban skating if you will go in them to some recreational park with the smooth paths and good asphalt without any obstacles. They will definitely almost immediately skate you out there to the city, to the narrow streets and bad pavements. At least that is what always happens to me, but maybe that's just a problem of my weak will. By the way, talking about the wheels, we have here the 80 mm wheels uh, with hardness 44A. 44A, 80 mm. Uh, the frame is short, only... Oops. That's the good angle. 243 millimeters and that means that it gives us a good maneuverability moreover the frame is quite solid and uh, light that is good for extreme jumping but don't trust me too much in that issue because for me the half a meter is already an extreme jump also talking about jumps they have a very good anti-shock system. I never felt any discomfort in uh, my feet while grounding after a good jump. Uh, the bearings, the bearings are okay, ABEC7. That means that they are not very fine, uh, but anyway quite good for the city skating. I skated in them during the rain a few times, through some mud and sand also, and there were some problems right after the skating sessions. Some of the wheels were not fully rotating at all. They stuck like that. But uh, after a few other rides under the load, the rotating returns and they're still pretty good, as you can see. Here on one and on the other also. There is no rocking in initial setup, but after a good amount of stopping uh, uh, some dragging the natural rockering appears on that skate it can be seen here this wheel is much smaller than the others so it is a pretty good a model for slalom too for initial slalom I think so talking about the comfort if you are used to recreational fitness models of skates, you may feel some lack of comfort during the first skating sessions. Boot really grabs your foot and does not let it till the end of skating. The support of foot and ankles is very good, but of course you have to pay some price for it. For first five sessions in the skate I felt rather brutal pain in my right heel and also some strong discomfort in my ankles, but after that the pain has gone. And today I'm really feeling uh, that boots as natural part of my leg. Also, you will have to waste some time putting them and taking uh, them off. The laces are quite good, but sometimes it's hard to understand where to pull them, where is the right hole and so on. A few words about disadvantages. And here's a little quiz for you. Look at the boots and find the difference. I'll give you some time. Whoop, whoop. The one, the other. Okay. You're quite right. Here we have a velcro strap and here you don't have any. That's because the velcro strap of the right boot is actually now looks like that. Where's the second part? Oh, here it is. As you can see. 
a few unlucky falls when I have to slide with the boot and it is totally worn out. Also you can see that some material here is worn out too. And that's only after five months of using. Fila, you have to try better here. Anyway, even without a heel fixation strap, the fixation of the foot is quite normal. So I think that's all my impressions after five months. Fila NRK is definitely the good skates. The good skates for city skating, they of course have some disadvantages, but for me the main disadvantage in my pair of skates is still their skater himself. Bye bye, thanks for watching. Uh, like, dislike, comment and so on. Bye-bye.